Hi Anival, how are you today? I know we have discussed learning attributes in the past but which ones you believe influence the learning experience the most? I mean we have been learning about these principles of instructional design for a while, and I wanted to pick your brain about the subject. I'm doing great Dr. Sorensen. I believe all learner attributes are based on the premise that learners need to process information, their attitude will dictate how they go about doing that. However, an often overlooked attribute is the one dealing with motor skills and how they act as the glue to bind their knowledge. That's great but, can you elaborate a bit more on how do these attributes come together? First off, let me start with verbal information, which according to Gagne, wager. Golas, and Keller, is what provide learners with structure and a foundation upon which to build other skills. Verbal information is declarative knowledge. It is the things learners should know and that which help them acquire further knowledge. Oh, I see, can you give me an example for that? A great example for this would be how we have our elementary students learn Dolch words before they can start forming sentences. Anvil. That is a great place to start. But if we delve deeper into the analysis and design of learning what other skills affect the learning process, another attribute which influence our learners involve cognitive processes. These revolve around the principles of generalization and discrimination. Whereas learners can tell the difference between patterns, for example, as suggested by Smith and Reagan, a child who sees a picture of birds in a flock may point to one of the animals and ask, what's that? The instructor would respond, a bird. It is very likely that if the child has not yet learned the concept bird, they might point to another bird pictured in the flock and ask, what's that? The instructor will respond again, with that's a bird. Eventually, the child might point to another bird in the flock and ask, bird? And receive feedback for their discovery. Therefore, the learner has generalized the concept of a bird beyond the single first instance encountered to other examples of the concept. That is a good way to explain cognitive processes when working with children, but how about adult learners? I am glad that you asked that, if we go back to motor skills as I mentioned earlier. They support learners throughout their lifetime. Consequently, my notion they are the glue that binds knowledge. Therefore, learning attributes will influence learners from birth through adulthood. I say this because without motor skills learners would be nothing but empty vessels incapable of constructing meaning out of the learning experience. Okay, so what is this meaning that you are talking about? What I am trying to say is that to construct meaning the conditions for a learning must be present. These are, performance, internal and external. When one of these three is missing the learner suffers because these conditions are interdependent. Meaning that as Gagne, Wager, Golas, and Keller argued learners will not be able to follow procedure therefore, the sequence of events to help with the transfer of knowledge will be missing. Anival, you have covered a lot of information. What other learning attribute would you like to share with me? The final learning attribute I would like to talk about is that of attitude. I believe it is the most important of them all because it set the tone for a learner success. As mentioned by Brown and Green, the need to improve performance can take on different forms, such as increasing a student's knowledge of a particular content area. However, none of it is possible without the right attitude the internal state of the learner that affects their choices based on a given situation. That is a great way to shed light on attitude affecting the learner. Hey it has been a pleasure talking with you, likewise. I am happy that I was able to share the knowledge, and look forward to talking with you again. Well, I got to run to another class. Take care, not a problem, I'll catch up with you tonight during our discussion threads online.